Hello foodies! Welcome back to another painting food step by step. We're gonna start with the two plating videos, so please let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. And then we're gonna go through the preparation together. We're gonna start by the puff pastry. We're gonna need 250 grams of flour and 2.5 grams of turmeric. 150 ml of icy water. We're gonna start adding the water little by little. Once we get to a dull consistency, we work it out The apple and mustard puree. Squeeze two lemons, peel and dice four Granny Smith apples. Now we're gonna get everything in the thermal mixer together with a tablespoon of English mustard and then we're gonna blitz and warm it at 100 degrees for 8 minutes at the highest speed. Then obviously we're gonna pass it through a sieve to get it as smooth as possible. Now we're getting 200 grams of butter we're gonna cut it into cubes and we're gonna put it in the fridge. After, we're gonna dust it with a bit of flour and start pounding it with a rolling pin. Pound and fold until you get a smooth consistency. Until you can fold the butter without breaking it. Wrap it in cling film and rest it in the fridge for 15 minutes. Now we get our puff pastry dough out and we're gonna roll it into a square shape. Get your butter and roll it into the same shape as the dough, but in a smaller size. Place it inside the puff pastry dough. And then using the rolling pin, we're gonna roll it When you get to this size, you fold the puff pastry and then we roll it again.
fold it again, wrap it in cling film and rest in the fridge for 30 minutes. We're gonna be repeating this process three times, so this is the second time, you roll it, fold it into three and roll it again, always dusting with flour as needed. Then we're gonna fold it, wrap it in cling film and rest in the fridge for 30 minutes. Take it out and repeat the procedure. Then wrap it again and rest for 30 minutes. The rosemary sponge. Boiling salted water. One bunch of parsley. Now a handful of rosemary. Get the parsley straight from the boiling water and blitz it into a puree. For this sponge we need 10 grams of flour, 40 grams of eggs and 100 grams of puree. Put your mixture inside a siphon gun, charge it. Fill a cup up to a quarter and microwave it. Now we're going to be finishing our puff pastry. One pork fillet, trim it up, taking out any fat. Season with salt and pepper and roll a ballotine using a cream film. Put it in the fridge and let it rest for at least an hour, then take it out, cut it out and pan fry it until a beautiful golden brown color. Now here we are using a beautiful wild boar sausage. Roll out your puff pastry into a thin sheet. Pipe the sausage mixture. and roll the sausage roll. We're doing the same with the pork fillet. To keep it into a nice round shape, we're gonna roll a ballotine with the cling film. Now all we have to do is cut our portions, brush it with egg yolk and bake it.
apple sticks. Just get a beautiful grand smith apple, slice it with a mandolin and then cut your sticks. That's it foodies, thank you so much for watching and leave a like if you liked it.